have here is what I think is probably the strangest driver in my collection, um, the other one being still in the enclosure. Uh, it's a Sony woofer, five and a quarter inch driver, um, and it's a very unique design. You might think, uh, looking at it, how in the hell does it vent out in the bottom? It's a very unusual design with the spider connecting to the inside of the uh, of the frame there, and the voice coil is actually wrapped outside. Um, I'll put a cutaway photo of this on screen now. Um, it's got two four inch voice coils in a five and a, a five and a quarter inch driver, so it even beats out the uh, STW for coil to driver ratio. Um, I'm going to play Sadness and Sorrow for you to show you the excursion. There you go, there's some excursion for you. Um, what I'm also going to do is put the TS parameters up on the screen. Um, and it it's very strange, I've had this driver on the DAT system, um, and when I was measuring it I noticed that the specs almost read to be that of a 12 inch driver. They, they measured like a much, much larger driver. Um, I'll put those on the screen, um, and I'm also going to read them off for you. Uh, give me a second. To try and find them in the collection here. There we go. So, yeah, the uh, resonant frequency is near enough 42 hertz. Um, the compliance is very low, it's 0.072 millimeters per Newton, which is really, really stiff suspension. Um, the BL value is almost 15 newtons per amp, which is massive for a driver of this size, absolutely enormous. Um, but also, so is the moving mass, 202 grams, which is the sort of moving mass you'd find in, you know, a 12 or a 15 inch driver. Um, and the result of that is actually a really low sensitivity. It's only 68.8 decibels um, per watt per meter. So, not a very efficient driver. But uh, rate is 125 watts, so it's, it can handle plenty of power to get up there. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's such a jolly nice driver. It's probably quite hard to tell on camera, but the bottom half here is, is die cast aluminium, and then the top is uh, some kind of polymer. Um, and a really strange surround. It's kind of like a foamy rubber uh, and a plastic or paper, I think, cone. Um, but yeah, a very unique driver. Um, not much else to say about it really, other than uh, it's very unique. I'll stick it up next to the W7. You can see it's also quite a tall driver, like the JL. Um, autofocus. There. There you go.